Hi! In this video, we are going to discuss the main sources of food contamination. Food contamination is the presence of any harmful or objectionable substance or material in food. There are four major kinds of food contamination – microbial, physical, chemical, and allergenic. We will explore each kind here. 1. Microbial contamination is the presence of disease-causing or spoilage microorganisms, including bacteria, parasites, viruses, molds, and yeasts in food. Bacteria are the most common form of microbial contamination that cause foodborne illness, and they can be found everywhere – on people, animals, food, equipment, in soil, and water. Most bacteria are harmless, however, some aren't. As an example, raw meat and poultry may be contaminated with types of bacteria called Salmonella and Campylobacter that comes from the intestine or skin of the animals. If the meat is not cooked well, the bacteria can stay alive in the food and cause illness. Bacteria can be transferred from contaminated food or surface to another food, and this is called cross-contamination. Cross-contamination could be direct or indirect. Direct cross-contamination occurs in food where there is direct contact between the source of the bacteria and food. Examples include raw meat stored above or in contact with cooked meat, raw chicken stored above or in contact with salad, food handler sneezing or coughing onto food. As bacteria have no legs or wings, they rely on vehicles to transfer them onto the food. Indirect cross-contamination occurs when harmful bacteria are transferred from the source to the food via a vehicle such as hands, knives, cloths, equipment, and food contact surfaces. Examples include using the same knife or chopping board to slice raw meat and then cooked meat, using the same cloth to wash down the raw food preparation area and then the cooked food preparation area. Touching food after blowing your nose without first washing your hands. 2. Physical contamination occurs when foreign objects fall into the food. Foreign objects can be brought into the premises with raw materials or introduced during storage, preparation, service, or display. Physical contaminants could be both harmful to health by causing cuts, choking, and broken teeth, and objectionable by being unpleasant for the consumer. Common contaminants include nuts, bolts, wire, metal, packaging materials, plastic, string, rodent droppings, hairs, cigarette butts, glass, flaking paint, plasters, earrings, fingernails. 3. Chemical contamination is rare, but when it does occur, the consequences are usually serious. It can have short and long-term effects on the human body. Some of the common contaminants include veterinary drugs, fertilizers, pesticides and environmental contaminants, oils and lubricants used in processing area, and cleaning chemicals. 4. Allergic contamination happens when some people experience allergic reactions to certain foods. Symptoms of a food allergy range from a mild flushing of the skin or swelling of the throat and mouth that causes difficult swallowing or breathing, to nausea or vomiting, to collapse and unconsciousness. Common allergens include celery, eggs, fish, nuts, milk, shellfish, mustard, sesame seeds, and soybeans. As a food handler, you must be careful not to inadvertently contaminate food that is supposed to be free from allergens. You must also be careful to give the right information about ingredients to customers who ask. Given the risks that food contamination has on your customers, you should take the necessary steps to try to avoid any of these microbial, physical, allergenic, and chemical contaminants.